What's up everybody, it's your boy Marsman here, and winter is finally here. With the winter contingency finally returning to Halo Infinite, does it put you in the festive mood? As we get to start our official second operation within Halo Infinite, there have been some mixed reviews about the update, and it's up to me to give you my overall impressions and tell you if it's worth jumping into. Does 343 land on the last major update before we get into the new year and head into season six? Does the update to Firefight impress? Let's build the snowman, overpay on some store items, and jump right into this. Let's start off with the good. My favorite aspect of this new update has to be the legendary edition of King of the Hill Firefight. I mean, honestly, when I was bitching and complaining from the last video, I was really asking for a much harder variant or version of Firefight to be added into Halo Infinite just because I felt like it was roughly a Gerber baby level of difficulty. I mean, when you think about how much of a change this difficulty was from the original to how it is now, it is a complete shift. It's extremely challenging, it's fun, and you get to really see a full picture of how this game can look when you start to see the more increased variations of bosses and difficulties that can add into this. And, and it, based on the leaks from Rebs Gaming and many others, it seems as if we're not only getting legendary, but we may be getting mythic and even kind of lasso version of Firefight, which I can't even imagine the problems that's going to cause and really the heartache and anger. But I feel like the kind of variation they added here was actually pretty fun because it basically made it where you have to be smart in how you attack enemies. You can't run into a fight because if you do, you're going to get killed instantly. These guards these banished are actually very smart and they attack in like really well coordinated movements where it feels like sometimes you're just kind of shocked to, to see them outflank you as well as they do now there are some aspects that i feel like they need to nerf or at least fix or adjust and that has to definitely do with the phantom gunners i mean damn i, I remember back in the campaign of halo infinite when i played it at legendary on my own that it was definitely difficult to survive from those phantoms but i feel like this version they're even harder than before i would really love to see a new variant of like a survival mode type of game added into this firefight or maybe even and trying to mirror the old versions where instead of you just having the standard everyone has one life and you have to get revived it turns into kind of like a kind of stockpile of lives overall and the more times you die the faster you'll lose so it kind of encourages you to stay alive as long as possible secondly i feel like when you think of operations the key thing that they always are providing for you is free stuff and i'm always a fan of free stuff this operation lasts december 19th all the way to january 30th so it's roughly a six week period. And when you take a look at the overall aesthetic of all the things that we had gained from this battle pass, it's actually not that bad, especially when you think about the aesthetic and what they're trying to go for in this case. Like, yeah, there's going to be those variants of the X XP boost, which annoy the crap out of me, where I thought at this point we, we kind of left that behind in the dust. But overall, when you think about the different emblems, they're all regarding snow. You have some pretty funny ones with the grunts kind of dressed up as snowmen. The colors are all wintry, so you have a lot of blues. You have some festive ones with like green and reds. Obviously, the armors are pretty cool. Uh, I mean, the last one that you're looking into, the Winter Knight, kind of the best one that's been showcased overall throughout the entire commercials and trailers that they've been showing off that for this new event happening so i feel like everything kind of looks pretty solid when you are looking for free content and i think that's kind of the best part about this update other than the legendary firefight edition and i feel like it does kind of fit the feel of the holidays i mean i'm not gonna lie like generally when i think of the previous winter contingency updates they had some pretty solid additions but i feel like this one's kind of either it's not the best one but i feel like of the three it's probably the second best i mean they, there were some pretty gross runs early on the first with the contingency had some real ugly stuff but this one's all right i'm not gonna lie it's not the best but it's not the worst either and with the good we have to talk about the bad i feel like everyone's gonna say this but the store items are horrendous i think when you look at the first item they show you on the board a 34 dollar item that is a bundle of three separate packages and yeah granted it has 80 items in it which technically roughly goes into six different color schemes three different types of armors three weapon variants models where you have a rocket launcher that looks like a present a, a sidekick that looks like a present you have the battle rifle looks like a sleigh i mean granted you're, you're getting a lot of things with this package but at the same time we're talking about 34 dollars you can buy you can buy a, a dlc for a game you can you can buy an indie game for 34 dollars and you're telling me that this bundle of all this armor is equivalent to that and i think it's pretty outrageous and even if you want to buy the individual items they're, they're averaging roughly around 16 dollars a piece which is kind of outrageous to me sure 
th there are some things that are festive and what maybe i'm nitpicking here but what i am wanna if i ever want to buy something in the store i feel like it's something that i want to be able to wear at any point in time every armor here that i would have to purchase is all is all holiday based it's all christmas based so i'm like yeah you know what i'm not gonna be wearing the candy cane color scheme in the spring or in the summer it makes zero sense to me but the idea is is that yeah this, these look nice and all but it only fits for this time period for this winter other than that i feel like it's just worthless and that just doesn't mean i'm getting enough bank for my buck you know you know what would be a really festive thing to do three for three is to lower the prices for the holiday season i mean that would be great because at the end of the day i can feel like i can make this purchase for a five dollar purchase and be feel a lot more oh it's worth me wearing this for the short span of time that the winter is and not feel like i'm getting ripped off we we, we already saw you know how, there's already enough scam artists in the winter time so you don't need to add to that barrier as much as i could applaud three for three for giving us free content the problem i see with these 20 tiers is that we're, we have basically six weeks in order for us to unlock all this content and this is the last operation we're getting until season six of halo infinite so you're telling me that 20 tiers is gonna last me or everyone else for six weeks i mean granted i think some of this, these different tiers can be all unlocked within a maybe a two week span and i mean i like the idea of operations where you give us more content it lasts longer and within that operation you're adding more adjustments or updates to kind of fill out the rest of the time i just feel like you're 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 kind of wasting time with six weeks maybe it was because this is your first chances at operations and you didn't plan it out as effectively and you said six weeks is going to be our first standard like you kind of have to be a little bit better with that i feel like you need to plan this out a little bit more maybe not six weeks maybe four weeks would be better for this case yeah sure you might get some sweaty chads like me that unlock all of the stuff within a short span of time but at least then like you're you're going to make it more balanced for those that do come back and forth like those people that play on and off in halo they're still going to unlock this way earlier than what the operation is going to be in length wise if you want to fix this problem then maybe like go into giving going forward maybe giving us the ability to bundle our own packages for these different tiers or maybe bundle our own store items so that we can kind of pick our own way to buy like if you want to buy something from the store give the give us the option to add to cart and then maybe we can like create a bundle ourselves and then it kind of can equate to amount of points and maybe we'll feel a little bit better about making these purchases but i mean damn guys i mean it's kind of uh you know ridiculous at this point point. and lastly the uh quote-unquote winter base map that we're getting is kind of ridiculous snowfire which is basically the snow version of live fire which definitely hits all the holiday feels of snowmen where where decoys would be where you're getting snow all over the map it's snowing heavily yeah it looks great i'm not gonna lie it's a great thing to see when you can change the entire environment of a map without having to really put as much effort into it but we're only getting one of them and i feel like that is the dumbest thing that three for three could have done where you were promising us really all these plethora of variations especially with how what forge can do and and this was a long time ago where they had leaks that said three for three was asking forge creators to basically create all their own weather based versions of all their maps and even var variations of all the original 3 for 3 made maps that we can have one for each season from summer, fall, spring, and winter. And then this is the first thing we get. May maybe I'm wrong and this is just the first attempt and this is the first week of operation for the winter contingency and that's why that this is the only map we get. And my expectation and hope is that we're getting more of these as the weeks go on. But damn, 3 for 3, you're talking about blue balls here. This is literally the only thing we got for this winter feel when it comes to these maps. I'm ex I was basically expecting us to have a variation of winter for majority of the maps that allow us to. I mean, it just feels ridiculous. I, I feel like that, that was the whole kind of the whole idea of what we were trying to get at here. So overall, when I think about the winter contingency and what my overall feelings about it are, I feel like it's kind of a mixed bag for me. Sure, I'm not gonna lie, the fact that we're finally getting winter aspects or the kind of winter feel within Halo Infinite is definitely a good thing to see. Because Halo at this point in, in its Infinite's lifespan, we barely have had any sort of winter-based maps or aesthetics to really get us that snowbound feeling that we've been itching for this entire time. Even that being the case, it feels like this operation doesn't really hit the mark as well as I want it to be, at least at the moment. Because when you think about what you were expecting with how 343 was going to react to this new wave of momentum that they had, that they were going to drop some fire updates like they have been throughout the entirety of 2023. I am all for free stuff with these tiers that we're getting with the operation, 
but it feels like there's way too little of things to unlock in such a long span of time which is roughly six weeks and obviously the store items are always awful but it just feels like you have all this interesting stuff that you can unlock in the store why not add it to a free tier pass where people can just enjoy it for the holidays and i feel like my expectation going forward for this winter contingency is that they better be adding more things throughout the entirety of it because i'm sorry to tell you this but if you're only expecting people to play for 20 free tiers which roughly can be unlocked through a week and a half of playing the game then you're not going to have that retention that you're expecting people love halo and they love playing the game and sure gameplay goes a long way in how you were fixing this momentum going forward but at the same time people want something to grind for you're telling me that those fans that have already unlocked the entirety of the ranking system are going to just want to only play for a week and a half free tier set they want some more things to grind for. So I feel like you should be already planning for this ahead of time, whether it's a mid-season battle pass update, whether it's more tiers added to the operation, whatever it is, I feel like you need to do something more in order to really make this as successful as possible. The first two attempts at an operation, one of them I thought was pretty good, and then the other was kind of mid. And I feel like the problem with having a Kind of a bad way to end the year it just kind of gets people annoyed that having a full year in 2023 being super successful and then you just have a kind of a dud in the last moment before we transition into year three for halo infinite i just think it's not the best way to go out when you have so much momentum on your side i'm expecting them to add more things throughout these weeks but if they don't you already know your boys are being pretty angry about it but are you excited for the winter contingency event in halo infinite let me know what you think in the comments below and if you like this type of content make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel until next time is marsman signing off peace out guys <laughs>